Good morning, this is Kirk Mitchell and I'm here to give you a short tutorial on how to log into Noviance. For those of you who have a password but can't remember how to get into the system, uh, you simply go to the portal page here and in the student section where it says Noviance Pushi, you can click on Noviance Pushi. It will open up the login screen. I would bookmark this and then put in your email address and your password and it should take you right into the system. The other way, if you're a brand new user, um, is your counselor will register you in the system and send you an email with a login code. Um, when you get this email from us, it will come from Family Connection account information. And when you open up the email, you'll see your username is your email address and your password. All right, so you can copy your password, click on the link here, it will take you again to the login page where you can put in your email address, paste in your password, and log in. Once you're in the system, this is your home page, and on this page here you will see information including current news. We show all of our college visits here. If you're interested in coming to visit one of these colleges, you can click on the register link by the college. This shows us all the universities that are visiting us this fall. All right, you can get information about this and you're always welcome to come and see us. Okay, from the home page, you'll also see your mailbox, which is over here on the right hand side where this little envelope is. It'll show uh, messages that have been received. When we send an email to you as counselors, um, email will go to your personal mailbox but it will also go into here so if you've missed something you can always come in and pick up that email from here your student your son or daughter so far has uh, been doing some work with us on strengths to find out what they've been doing if you click on about me you may find in here information about um, some of the things that they've been doing uh, if students have done a survey for us, it'll be listed here and you can open up and take a look at it. If they've done their personality type, you can click here on that and you can read about your son or daughter's personality. It's very interesting reading. We do the, the Myers-Briggs, we do the Holland's Career Interest Profile, uh, a number of different things. We also do a lot of work at searching for careers. So if your son or daughter has been doing some work in career, uh, exploration, you can click in here and see the sort of careers that they've been interested in. You can also research colleges <clears throat> by clicking in here on the college list and you can search colleges through a filtering system like this or you can just look for a particular college that uh, you want to know about by typing in the college. Uh, let's see, let's put in a university here. And you'll find profiles in here of information about universities, including statistics for admissions from our school over the last uh, five years, and tabs that give you information on that particular university. Students can save these into their list as part of what they're doing. So this is just a brief look at what we're doing. Uh, later on this year, we'll get into our course planning, and that will be in this tab right here called Courses where students will pick and select courses. We have a catalog. You can read about all the courses that we offer. Uh, students in study hall are also doing some work with planning. They're setting some goals. So if you go into My Planner and click on Goals, oh, my son has not been doing his work. There should be some goals in here that the students are working on. Uh, hopefully, this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, please talk to your counselor, and we'll help you out.